and I'm your host for today, Valerie Udosu. Um, on today, we'll be discussing about lifestyle inflation and principles of savings. Lifestyle inflation and principles of savings. And lately, you've been seeing from what's been happening here, our Nollywood actors and like, you know, the previous ones we have, they've been dying. It's not um, about just about the sickness and the rest of it here. It's also lifestyle lifestyle also cost it well to buttress more on this we have mr peter anno ck again here on the program to explain and throw more light on it mr peter anno ck having me so today we are going to talk about uh, lifestyle inflation what it is and how to avoid it because many people are into it but they don't know a lot of people are into lifestyle inflation or are victims of lifestyle inflation, but they don't really know because it comes unknowingly. Understand? And before you know it, it has become too late. Before people realize that that they, they have fallen victim to lifestyle inflation, it has become too late. And what exposes people who are into lifestyle inflation is accident or sickness. Okay. Accident or sickness. You will not know that you are a victim. Until you have that terrible situation. Recently, we saw how uh, Mr. John Noka for Ibu. Yes, Mr. Ibu. Yes, when he was dying, uh, people he was begging people to contribute money for him. Yes. Because he couldn't take care of himself. Yeah. The same thing with uh, Amechi Monago. Understand? That recently died. That recently yeah? died. And people were asking, these people are up there. What happened to their money? Understand? Where did their money go? Even the victims of NAFTA inflation also ask that same question. <laughs> Where is my money? What happened to my money? Understand me? So, yes. it is a, it, it comes like a, a worm. When worm enters our body, we don't know until it's, it's that it's in it you know, until we begin that to have uh, maybe ulcer. Yes. That's when you know that you really have one. Yes. That's the same way um, after inflation comes. Then the question is, what is after inflation? After inflation, when people are making more money, they, their laughter will increase. That's their spending will increase. Yes. That's what after inflation means. Now, some somebody who is earning hundred thousand a month. He has an increment of fifty thousand naira. Understand? Instead of example, instead of continue continue to drink a sachet milk, he will go for thin milk. <laughs> yes, understand me? Because he feels at that point he can uh, afford it comfortably. He can understand me? Yes. yes. So now, instead of uh, wearing ten thousand naira watch, he will go for fifty thousand naira wrist watch. Yes. And uh, and when they are doing, they, they, they want to impress people that they have arrived, that their life is now better, better than that, it was before. That God ha, ha, had become more, more merciful, more grateful. Understand me? So instead of giving maybe one thousand, paying one thousand naira tithe, they will start paying ten thousand naira tithe, so that everybody will know that uh, there's a change. But what these people don't really know is that what they are doing, they are not helping themselves. An instance, somebody who is wearing a one million naira wrist watch, and somebody who is wearing hundred thousand naira wrist watch, the purpose of wrist watch is to tell time. Understand me? Okay. One million naira is to watch. It did not tell more time that hundred thousand naira is to watch. Yeah. <laughs> they are both of the same. They both tell the same time. They tell the same time. Basically. Understand me? Uh-huh. Yeah. And somebody wearing a one million naira wedding ring, a hundred thousand naira wedding ring. The purpose of one of wedding ring is to show that you are either you are either married or you are engaged. Exactly. Understand me? Exactly. Um, um, uh, more. More expensive ring does not mean more happiness My, in the family. Sure. Understand me? So this is what we, we all should know. And people, maybe these actors, actresses, who we are living in Surundere before, 
when money comes, they will move to Lekki. Lekki. Understand me? They will change uh, their car from Camry to Prado Jeep. Understand me? Yes. You are not helping yourself. You think that you are feeling good until when sickness comes. Understand me? You now know that you have been wasting your years. So this is instances of uh, lifetime inflation. Okay. When people say um, money increases, their lifestyle increases. increases. Yeah. Understand me? Now, you are making more money, but instead of making more savings, eh, you are spending more. more. Understand me? You are spending more. So, but I remember those days because a, a lot of people don't know um, about this. Understand? A lot of people don't know um, about this. I remember in 2003, when we, we, we are freshmen in the Sun newspapers, they started us with a 30,000 Naira, you know, fresh uh, graduates. Okay. So after about three months, they added the 10,000 10, Naira. Okay. I told uh, my friends, we have been living with this uh, 30,000 30, Naira. Let us pretend as if there's no increment. Exactly. Understand? So, so that that 10,000 will continue to be our saving. Understand? Yeah. But people find it impossible. <laughs> Understand me? Yeah. People, people find it uh, impossible. Understand? I said, the best way you can save is pretend there's no increment in your, your salary. Money. Continue to live as you were living before. True. That is the only way that you save. So then people find it um, difficult. I understand. Yeah. So I also remember that at a point in time, our general group, general sports editor, he told, he told me, I'm, I'm Peter, I'm your boss. I'm any more salary than you. Understand? Okay. But you have written, you have published four books. Why I'm still struggling to publish one? I said, excuse me, sir. Give me 100,000 naira. I will tell you how to go um, uh, about, about it. it yeah. Understand? Yeah. Because even though you are earning m- m- more than me, I'm using my money better than, than you. you are. Sure. Because it is not how much you earn that makes you rich, mm. but how much mm. you spend and what you spend your money on. on. Understand? It is not how much you earn that makes you rich, but how much you spend and what you spend your money on. Mm. So, now, that, that sometimes you see people, I want to work in Chevron, I want to work in Shell, I want to work in, in MTN. Why? They'll tell you that their pay is high. Understand me? Okay. They'll tell you that their pay is high. So literally, most of them want to work in those companies just because of the pay. And that, that's because so of the pay. So they will be to show off their lifestyle. Understand me? Okay. But what they don't know is that employers are not foolish. <laughs> True. You are not being paid to become rich. Once you are an employee, they don't pay you to become rich. They want to pay you as little as so that you can keep on coming to work. Yeah. Because once you become rich, you stop the, working. Exactly. Understand exactly. me? So when they be, so those people said that, that they, they, they want to work in Shell, that they want to work in Chevron because their pay is high. Mm-hmm. From the from the back, the employer still connect that money. How? You cannot be working in Chevron and be living in mainland. Understand me? Yes, yes. You have to go to Ireland, Ireland and stay. You cannot be living in, in you cannot be working in Chevron and be wearing ten thousand naira shoe. Mm-hmm. That's what they call the corporate image of the company. You must be b- b- moving in a very nice car. You must be dressing expensively. But then coming back to the shoe you made mention of, there are still people that wear they like they make shoes, yeah. Let's say they make shoes and then they make they can get good quality of shoe at that amount. No, those people working in Chevron will not want to go to Osho and buy. <laughs> Definitely not. Understand me? They don't want to go to Osho to and buy. Understand me? Yes. Uh-huh. So, because their mindset has been, understand me? Changed. Has been configured. Yes. You have to live 
this specific kind of way. Yes, the corporate image of the company. Yes, you right. must be going on a good car. You must be living in Nekin. Living large. You cannot go to, to, to Buka and eat. Understand me? When you do this, that money has gone by half. Somebody who is working in a breakfast is becoming better than you, but you don't know. Understand? Yeah. So when you realize what you have done yourself, it's when that person has a major situation, accident, sickness. You say, ah, this man that is working in Chevron that is earning millions, but he wasn't saving. Mm. Understand me? He wasn't saving because he was mandated to be returning that money back, understand, so that he will not be, become rich. Because if he becomes rich, he will stop working. Exactly. Understand me? So now, how do we avoid the, this thing um, called the NAFTA inflation? As I said, NAFTA inflation is spending more uh, when you are salary. Saving less. When your salary is increasing, okay. understand me? You are your earnings your earning is increasing and you are spending more yeah. instead of saving more. Understand me? Yeah. So today I want to give uh, five five factors eh, that we can use uh, that to stop it. Eh? Number one, beware of your spending. Understand me? You have to beware of your spending. You are spending f- f- um, um, features must be addressed. You must know what you are spending your money on, whether it is adding value to you or not. Okay. Understand me? Okay. You must know what where your money is going. And lots of people know where their money is coming from, but they don't know how it is going. going. Yes. That's why that question, where is my money? Where yeah. is my money? <laughs> So we say that the the elders and they don't know they begin to, to suspect people in the village. Understand me? That they don't know what is happening to their money. So your number one step is to be conscious of your money. Be conscious of where your money is going, whether it is adding value to you or not. That is number one. Number two is create a budget. Understand? Yes. You have to create a budget. Every month, when that money comes, you draw a budget. I'm going to spend so and so on this. I'm going to spend so and so on this. And you stick to your budget. So you create a budget and stick to your budget. If you don't ha- have a budget, you spend anyhow. Mm-hmm. So, and this is involved what? Discipline. Understand me? Yes. Disciplining is very, very important in spending money. Understand? Okay. You must be in your room. You hear ice cream people. You say no. Even though the weather is hot, I'm not going to take this ice cream. It takes discipline to do that. Yeah. That's why only people who are disciplined that can become rich. Because discipline is that ability to say no. Understand me? Yes. Ability to say, I will not do this. Mm-hmm. So, number two, you create a budget and you stick to your budget. Now, I'm making 1 million naira a month. I will be I'll be spending 200 naira on feeding. I'll be spending 100,000 100, naira on medicals. And you stick to your budget. If you don't ha- have a budget, you will not know where your money is going. You know where it is coming from, but you will not know where it is going. Then, number three, have an emergency fund. I was going to ask that. Have an emergency fund. If these people were having emergency fund, they will not be begging at this point in time. Understand me? Okay. You must be funding your you are, you are, you are emergency fund. God created um, the, 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 the world that, that's in opposites. Okay. Understand me? Everything in the world is two. Mm-hmm. Sun, rain, tall, short, ugly, mm-hmm. handsome. Understand me? Yes. Sickness, health, each must come. You cannot avoid it. 
You cannot avoid it. That's why it, they say, no matter how long the summer lasts, don't throw away your winter suit. Because winter must come. Definitely. So no matter how healthy you are, you should know that one day, one day sickness will It'll come. come. You, you don't pray for it, but it will come. It's unpredictable. So you should always have some have an emergency fund. It is it is very, very important. You should know that one day you are healthy, you work out every every morning. You spend the three hours in the gym, fantastic. But the other, the other part of life must come. Understand me? Yes. So you should always uh, be have something for the other one because it will certainly come. Understand? Even if you finish uh, um, uh, a pot of food in the morning, it doesn't mean that you will not be hungry again. So you should save for when you become uh, hungry. So then, an, another one, always try to pay up your debt. Always try to pay up your debt. People like to postpone debt. Understand? When you are in debt, you cannot, you, you, you don't have money. Because that money does not belong to you. Yeah. So the more you pay up your debt and free, yourself because somebody may even be be be, be, be owing others millions you see them going going that to buy um, a new car they say ah, i'm owing you I, i'll pay you just for the lifestyle understand is that, sure. that understand me sure so always pay up your debt it is important that you are that you are earning a uh, hundred thousand and you are owing a uh, two hundred thousand you are not rich. So the more you pay up all your debt, the free you become. Okay. It, it is important. Very, 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 very important. Don't be accumulating debts. And today, people are unconsciously being pushed into debt. Mm. But they don't know. That's, I've seen it somewhere they say, Come and buy your iPhone and pay in six months. It sounds it sounds wonderful. Come and buy your iPhones and pay in six months. And to think that the prices of these iPhones are not cheap. They have yeah, added extra the extra there. Exactly. They have added extra there. That iPhone, if it's going for one million naira, they can say to you at one point three million. So even one point five. But it sounds wonderful. Eh? Yeah. Six months. Understand me? Yes. They are they are using you. Understand? Even some people also tells you come and buy a car and pay in installments. That's it. That's that that's crazy. You buy a car that can get accident within a month. Eh? Understand me? They should try and try everything possible. To pay cash in whatever you are doing. It is very, very important. Okay. Buying anything on credit is when when it become an emergency. When it becomes a, a emergency, that is the only time that to buy anything or anything on credit. Because it, you are not helping yourself, you are not helping your future. Understand? When there's Come and buy a car on credit. One, you'll be paying that loan, you'll be buying for it, you'll be maintaining that car. Okay. Understand? Okay. But I advise people, before you buy a car, make sure you have the, the money for, for that car into two. Okay. Understand? If you are going to buy a car of five million, make sure you have ten million. Understand? Yes. So if if this is what people are being told, how much more going to buy on credit? Oh, okay. 
Um, quickly, let me call the phone line, the call, the number for them to call and reach us on 0700-903-903-903, 0700-903-903-903. And the number to reach us on WhatsApp is 0817-175-6338. 0817-175-6338. The phone lines are open, so you, you can get your calls coming in to ask Mr. Peter Anosike your questions. So, let's continue, so please. don't... You are not rich when you are in debt. Okay. You are not rich when you are in debt. But some people will tell you, after all, Nigeria is owing. Understand me? After okay. all, Nigeria Sorry, is... we have a quick call mm. here. Hello, good morning. Yes. Your name good is afternoon. Location, My name is Ernest. Okay, your location? I am very, very overwhelmed on this very program. I thank you very much. For... Um, you are actually talking to me, and not just me, and you are talking to the general public, the society. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people live that kind of life. Like when you said that doctor, you don't have money. And when you're a doctor, you have no capacity of saving money because that's not people's money. I think that man there is an expert. You see, I said double kudos to him. May God bless him and give him more of that wisdom. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, Mr. Patanji. So, that is it. People, when you are in debt, you are not rich. But people feel feels good going into debt. They say that after all, Nigeria is owing. Understand mm-hmm. me? Dangote is. They will mention rich men that are owing, owing yes. as if owing had become it's a, a good, good thing. thing. Sorry, <laughs> let's quickly take this call. Hello, good morning. Your name and location, please. Hello, good morning. Good morning, uh, and good morning to your usual guest, uh, Dr. Anasike. Thank you very much. Who do we have here, please? This is Teotihuacan Dele Thompson from Obanico. Okay, please go on, sir. Yeah, I've been listening to his uh, advice and his counsel, uh, but I have judged almost everything he's saying as classical. Uh, we used to have classical as the main advice to take. But uh, Canadian economics have come to say that it's economic welfare that uh, determines investment, not savings. So he's uh, afraid of uh, what will happen if he is sick uh, by being too classical. So he's not also trying to be preventive of uh, sickness by ensuring his welfare before he can talk, talk about savings. I mean, uh, looking at uh, the present situation now, can you say because you have made a budget, uh, you will not uh, give your family, you will not pay your husband, you will not pay your school fees as they are increasing? You can't do that. Then, you're talking of uh, not living the lifestyle expected of people that work in a conglomerate, in a big, in a multinational, big organization. You forget that uh, to be able to have that job, have that security of the job, that you have to comply with that expectation. You also forget that uh, the children to live in the island where you meet your pay guarantee you more uh, opportunity than uh, leaving them and going to the mainland to stay. Okay. So what he has been saying has been like what has been uh, uh, has been uh, uh, replaced by the Asian economy. So it is the welfare that it means what is invested. Not 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 really uh, thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much for your input. Yeah. Okay. Is there a call or should no, I go react? On, go on, okay. Please, react. Let, let me just make a, um, a reaction. I say that you have to create a budget 
and stick to your budget. Understand? It takes discipline to do that. Understand me? Exactly. So if you don't have a budget, you will not know where your money is going. going to. Understand me? Why does government make budget every year? They want to check their spendings. And in the home, if you don't have a budget, you go to bed without food. Understand me? Yeah. And I talked about that you must live to the corporate image of the company that you are working. And by doing that, your money is going. Exactly. Understand me? Yeah. When you leave Ireland, Mendan to Ireland, whatever you are being paid, the, or the rent is going to eat into it. Okay. But then we need to understand that the rent payments for island and mainland, sometimes they are equal, they are the same thing. In some occasions. And the lifestyle in mainland and island are not the same thing. Yeah, I know the lifestyles are, defi- are different. Yeah. But I'm talking about as regards the rent payment. Like on the mainland now, you could see some houses... Like you could get some apartments for like one million, two million per se, depending on what you're looking for. And when you go to the island too, you also find out that you still see same apartment for same amount. Some are higher, while some are in the same range. So, yeah, so I started by saying that what makes you rich is not how much you earn, yes, but how much you spend, spend. and what you spend your money oh. on. This is what makes you rich. Nobody can dispute that. Eh? What makes you rich is not how much how much you earn, but how much you spend and what you spend your money on. If you are earning one million and they're spending one point two million, you are broke. Understand me? Yes, yes. So that's why Warren Buffett said, "Be that guy that drives." Five thousand dollar car, but have hundred thousand dollar in their in their account, mm. and not that guy that uh, drives hundred thousand dollar car and have five thousand dollar in the account. A lot of people d- drive hundred thousand dollar car, but with five thousand dollar in the account. Understand me? Yeah, yeah. So this these are the victims of lifestyle inflation. Understand? And as I said. You will only get to know what you've done to yourself when you have a terrible situation, accident, death. I mean, accident, sickness. sickness. Yeah. Understand me? You will now be asking all this money that I've been receiving every month, where has it gone to? Understand? Yeah. I have a friend, when we graduated from the university, he got a job in a bank and was told to... to Take a, a loan and buy a car that he must own a car. Understand me? Yeah. This guy he, he 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 took a loan from the bank. He bought a car. At the end of the day, what what he was going home every month was nineteen thousand. Wow. His brothers were complaining to me that Chike is now stingy. That he has abandoned everybody. He doesn't even give their mother anything again at, at the end of the month. But he was forced to take a loan and buy a car. Understand me? Yes. This is lifestyle, lifestyle inflation. Mm. So assuming that that guy f- has an accident or becomes sick and he will begin to beg his uh, family that to help him, they'll say, ah, you are working in a bank, bank and you want us to help you. And the notion a lot of people have a bad bank that they are rich. rich because they deal with money. And, and understand me. But carry him back, go to any bank now. They will buy it on credit. Take any shoe to any bank now. They will tell you we will pay by month end. Because that cash you think that they have is not there. Mm. Understand me? Yes. This is lifestyle inflation. Understand? Yes, yes. And you want to live to impress those people that are looking at you. Yes, I'm working in a bank. Mm-hmm. Understand? So you have to address in 50,000 Naira shares. Designer shares. Understand me? To show that you... Are, but in your bank, you have nothing. Understand me? Yes. So, so, that's, so that is what I am saying. Nafta inflation has K 
killed a lot of people. Okay. It has killed a lot of people. And when that thing happened, people will not be willing to... Ah, this actor was being paid the uh, millions now. While he was acting. Yes, now. Yeah. Understand? He was uh, d- d- driving a uh, um, uh, Prado Jeep. Understand? Yeah. Go to the bank. There, there, there was no emergency fund anywhere. Because that lifestyle will not allow you to save for emergency. Understand me? Mm-hmm. So then, how do we now... I have mentioned some of the ways that we can avoid it. Understand? Mm-hmm. Then, but to do more... I want now to talk about uh, the principles of saving. Savings, yes. We call it the 50, 30, 20. And that's a uh, um, um, saving rule. Okay. You 50, said 50, 30, 30 20, 20 saving, saving rule. rule. Okay. If we can abide by this, understand? We will run away from lifestyle inflation. Understand me? Okay. Now, how does this uh, 50, 30, 20... Um, um, saving rule. What I, I used that to tell people: no matter how much you are earning, you can save. Okay. Understand? So you mean even someone earning like ten thousand naira can save in this economy? Provided are... you are ready to cut, you you are you are listen. You are close according to your close okay. before they say cut to your size. size. It's no, no more no, size. It, it's no more you can size. be bigger. <laughs> understand exactly. Me. Understand exactly. Me. So now that 50, 30, 20, mm-hmm. how does it go? Now, if you are earning 200,000 naira a, a month, eh? okay. if you are earning 200,000 naira a month, 100,000 will be for the 50%. Okay. Understand me? And this 50% are your needs. Those things that you cannot do without in the house. Understand me? Then, 30% are your wants. Those things that are not all that necessary. necessary. Okay. Maybe going to, going to the cinema, you can do without or without it. it. Yes. Going to, maybe going to eat pizza, you can do um, without it. Then 20 will now be for your savings and investment. Okay. Understand me? That's the 50, 30, 30 20. 20. 50 for your needs. Okay. 30 for your wants. And 20 savings. for your saving, savings and the investing. Okay. Understand me? Okay. In a country that, that has higher, high inflation in Nigeria, it is risky to save. Because if you save, your money is going. Because 100,000 naira in January is no more 100,000 naira yes, now. It doesn't waste him. Understand me? Sure. Yeah. So that's why we talk about saving and the investing. Because for you to invest, you must save. Save, yeah. Understand me? So that, that is what can take, take somebody away from, from this uh, lifestyle inflation. When you when you divide uh, your earnings into need, want, and, and uh, savings. Uh, savings stroke investment. Okay. So, if they are doing it, this wouldn't be happening to them. At least, you have something to fund on, on a rainy day. Okay. Understand me? Okay. Um, Mr. Peter Anosiki, I want to quickly ask you a question here. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm sure there are people out there that earn lesser let's say, in between the 10,000 rates. And in Nigeria, mm-hmm. with our economy and everything, we see that even 10,000 naira food stuff can't even take you nowhere in a month. In a month. Such people, what advice do you have for them? How do, how should they be able to, like, ration to be able to, like, you know, like, to, to do the principle you've said for saving, which is a 50, 30, and 20 principle for saving? Well, in that situation, it is very, very risky. Because okay. that thing is not even enough for your needs. Understand me? Yes. That thing is not e- even uh, enough uh, for, 
for your needs. What uh, I would advise at that point in time is to look for for side hustle. Okay. Understand me? Something to augment what, you're earning. what you are earning. But the truth is that salary is not meant to be enough. And salary can never be enough. Those who are paying you don't want you to have enough. Understand me? So that's why somebody um, uh, said that the first salary end as the drug you are you are employer gives to you to make you forget your own ambition. Mm. Mm. Somewhat different as standard, standard, as a drug that your employer gives to you to forget your own ambition and now be working on his own ambition. Oh. Understand me? So as long as you are earning that salary. You are forgetting your own ambition. You're and focusing, fo- are focusing on his own on ambition. His. Okay. And the mind you standard is not being paid from capital. It's paid from profit. Mm, okay. No, no, no good businessman pays standards from capital. If you pay from capital, you go under. Mm. So you pay from the from the profit. Who gets that profit? The employees. The workers get that profit. profit. So from the profit, they get to pay them their salaries. Yes, you may be making hundred thousand naira for your company. They are paying you fifty. Mm. So they are paying you from your own sweat, mm. not from his own sweat. And also, like an average of what your uh, what he has done for, for you, he has set up a, a platform for you. Okay. Understand me? So that you have something to be getting at the end of the yeah. month. Yeah. Understand me? But you are paying yourself where you are working. Mm. Understand me? That's if, deeper than I thought. You, you are, that's what people... So when they receive uh, their standard, they say, um, thank you, sir. Thank you. No. The employer, the employer should be thanking you. Oh. He's paying you from what you give to him. Mm. Understand me? Because standard is based on value. Understand me? Okay. So that is based on value. He's not dashing you money. Money, true. He's not dashing you money. So he's paying you from your own sweat. Mm. But he will make you to feel that he is your messiah. <laughs> because he gave you the platform. Uh, that's sure. Yeah. Understand me? Um, please, quickly, we have a question here from our WhatsApp. So this person is saying, um, good morning. I'm Mama Ejima from Mafuluku. Please, I'm a tailor. And I want to know how I can save through that 50, 30, 20 method. Yeah, I said, if he can, if he, if she knows how much she earns in a, a month, even though maybe he gets her money, may, may, not, a, not a monthly because she's paying herself. Yes. Understand me? She's paying her herself. So if she can just calculate how much she is making in a month. Okay. Hey, just divide it into t- three. 50, 30, 30 and 20. 20. So uh, she weighs according to. Yes, and uh, 50, 30, 20. That's, and those 50 are those things that, uh, that he must not touch. And they include uh, one, let me say, feeding. Okay. You must feed. Monthly rent, assuming if it's where people pay rent every month, yeah. that that one is very electricity okay. and gas bills, and that's transportation. Mm-hmm. Understand me? Yes. So those things are things that you, you cannot do without. without. Understand me? Sure. Those are what should be in your fifty. Those things that you must not do. The very thing essential without. need. Yes. So then. For your thirty now, you can have a uh, um, uh, um, uh, dining out. Okay, like when you want to go on a date, outing. Let me go out and eat. Understand me? Okay. Um, um, clothing, shoes, handbags. Or they fall under thirty. On that, you can say, let me manage what I have. Yeah. Okay. Understand me? So you must. I'm not buying a new a new dress this month. Mm. You can do, you can do without uh, those ones. Going to the gym, and people 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 go and register in in the gym and become uh, members. Yes. 
these are you are uh, these are uh, among your uh, 30. 30 are those things even though they are important but you can do without, without them. them okay that's why i say um, dining out buying of handbags shoes and so, on and so forth these ones you can do without them and if you want to increase your savings now 20 is for your saving but if you want to increase if you say if you want to increase the, um, or you are saving, you go to your 30, not to the 50. Okay. You must not touch that 50, 50. because they are basic. Okay. So if you want to save more, you can go to your... 30. The more you go to your 30, the more you save. Mm. Understand me? The more you go to your 30, the more you save. You can even uh, make your, that, uh, your, your 20 to 30. Understand me? Okay. When you reduce that the money in the 30, it's going to the 20. Okay. Understand me? Mm -hmm. Which means you are now saving and investing, investing more. Investing at the same time. Understand mm -hmm. me? So, 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 that, so, so, so that's how. The only way, just stretch what you are earning in a month into 50, 30, um, and 20. And 20. Make a budget and then follow it strictly. Understand me? Be disciplined. Mm -hmm. Then, when 50 is not enough, go to 30. Take from there. Take from 30. Maybe if a, a kind of medical bills. Okay. The money for medical, for, for the 50 cannot take care, go to the 30. So, at no point should you touch your 20? No, 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 no. At no point, you will not. You juggle with your 30. Okay. That you can go to the 20, can go to the 50. 50. So okay. 50 must not be touched. 20 must not be touched. Be touched. Mm -hmm. So juggle with your, 20, 30. With your 30. Understand? When 50 is not enough, go to your 30. Understand? But when you are 50 is, is enough for you, then begin to push that 30 to your, to your 20. So with with that you can save. Mm -hmm. Understand me? Okay. With that you can save, and that's how people have been saving. Okay, let's take this quick call. Hello, good morning. Your name and location, please. Hello, hello, good morning. My name is Peter from Isolo. Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Please go ahead. Okay, I want to ask Mister Mister Peter a question, please. Someone as Nigeria is now. Someone has been paid twenty thousand every month. How will that person survive? I want to know. Should that person leave the job, or should they continue doing the job? Okay. Well, for me, if you cannot uh, start another business, maybe a side hustle. A side hustle. Some people carry bag of pure water to their office, send it there. Mm -hmm. Some people buy recharge card, go to the office, send it there. Even food. Some people fry uh, fry buns. Yes. Take to soon. Just look for something that you should add to, to that. If not, leave that job. It cannot take you uh, anywhere. But what if they leave the job and can't? Because now this is not so easy getting another job. So if you leave the job, I feel like if they leave the job now, getting another one to even sustain on might be difficult. No, excuse me. Now, if I'm being paid the uh, um, 20, it's not taking me anywhere. Okay. What I've been looking at is just. What I can get, what I, what I can use, even 10 from that to start just a little business, even if it's just sending a pure water, understand me? This uh, um, uh, Akara, understand? All those things. Understand me? Okay. All those things, understand? Let me give you, I don't know what time is. I have g given you that a practical example. Okay. That's if we have time. And we have, sorry, we have a quick call. Let's okay. quickly take it. Hello, good morning. Hello. Your name and location, please. It, it's Peter. I called back. Oh, okay. okay. Mr. Peter, the TK, my work is a very, is a site work. We work in the site and it's a very hard work. And the owner of the company told us not to do any other, we signed what he told us to sign that he would not do any other thing. And the work is very stressful that if you work, finish your work in a day, you won't even have strength to work, sir. Okay. Well, it's a tough one. It's a very serious one. This should, if, if it cannot help you, that's 
my advice is uh, try and get something else. That's that's what what I will um, advise. Because when somebody is telling you that you cannot uh, do anything else and he's not paying, paying you enough, enough. Exactly. he wants to kill you. Exactly. He he want to destroy your future. Okay. Understand me? Yes, yes. We have to speak all. Okay. Hello, good morning. Hello. Your name and location, please. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Peter Usiko. I'm calling from Abanoje. Okay. I just call to appreciate uh, the thoughts of your guests. In fact, any teaching on home management and economics generally. Please, I really, I'm really enjoying it. Thank you. All right, thank you, sir. Okay. I want to tell you a practical um, example of myself because I use myself as a guinea pig, okay. whatever I'm doing. I finished uh, my NYSC 19, 1999. Okay. Understand? So, that's, I served in a battle. I don't, I don't want to go back to the East. So, the easiest job I can pick was uh, teaching in a northern primary school, private. Okay. So, when I got there, people have been paid uh, 3,500. 3, I told you, hey, if you people continue taking this, you will grow gray hair and have not done anything for yourself. For yourself. What we are going to do is that let us start contribution every month. We will try and get to 2,000 naira and give that to somebody. Hmm? That's 10,000 now like for five a, people. Like what so, they call a job. Yeah, so only five people agreed okay. that's to do that okay. in the whole school, in the, among all the teachers. Only five people agreed. So when the five people agreed, I said, since I brought the idea, I will take first. Okay. Understand me? So they, they agreed. So when the month ended, they contributed 10,000 10, for me. From that school, I rushed to where a, a, a welder. And bought nine don cutting and sinning machine. Mm. I bought the seven thousand naira. I used the other three thousand naira buy a um, nine don. Understand me? Okay. So after school, in the night, I'll be making. I'll be making a um, nine. Nine, nine don. This nine don they used to put in uh, um, uh, aggregate bread. Oh, okay. I'll be making it in the night. Then in the morning, very early in the morning. I'll carry it to the bakery around okay. five. I'll go to the bakery. When they buy bread, they'll buy nine down from me. When they buy bread, they'll buy um, nine down from me. Okay, as I'm going back to school now around seven, I'll be giving it to women that are sending this uh, food stuff. Yeah. Understand? Mm-hmm. Uh, sending Gary, I'm a fish and so on and so forth. I'll be distributing that, 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 uh, it. When I'm coming back from school, mm-hmm. I'll be connecting uh, money my money. In the night, I'll do. Understand mm-hmm. me? With, 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 I'm being paid 3,500, 3, but I published my first book, 150,000 Naira. The money came from that nine dollars. Wow. wow. Understand me? Yes, yes. The money came from that nine dollars. So it will be wickedness to say you are not paying me enough mm-hmm. and I will not do any other thing. For yourself. Unless you want to kill me. <laughs> I get it. Let's take the last call we have for the program today. Hello, good morning. Your Hello, name and location, please. This is Vijay's volume of your radio. Good morning. My yeah, name good morning. is Victor. Your name is what, sorry? I'm calling, I'm calling from Jetsunu. Okay. So, I talked a little bit uh, Mr. Anotik for your good work. I always like your guest. Thank right. you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah. So, that is it. What just... Uh, do the hard work. Do the hard work. Understand me? So, like you'd suggest, for those that are not earning so much, they should get a side hustle. Side hustle. Like a business. Like a business. It yes. does. People, I said, people sell a child card where they are working. Mm-hmm. Understand like you me? Look, I feel, yeah, they should look for a problem where they are and provide a solution. A solution. To it. Thank you so much. Yes. And so, it doesn't need a business. It doesn't need. You must have a hundred million. So much capital is a little startup. I it. have printed Richard card. Wow. I have printed Richard card. So that's not. So all these things I do them practical. Mm. What I'm saying is not that uh, I did. I do them myself. I have printed Richard card in in Lagos here. 
2034-5. Understand? Well, Mr. Peter Anosike, thank you so much for that insightful knowledge which you've passed on to us. And I'm so sure our listeners out there, they've learned a thing or two. They've, they've learned a lot, I must say, because a lot of them, you see them calling in to thank you and appreciate you for your words of wisdom and knowledge which you've passed to them. On this note, we'll be ending the program. Yes. And um, Mr. Peter Anosike, thank you for making it down here today. Yeah, thank you we so hope much. to meet with you again next week, Saturday, and learn more from you yeah, thank um you so thank much. you so much our listeners out there for paying attention and get i'm, I'm so sure you, you took note of one or two things and you've learned from it and you obviously practice what we've said to you about the lifestyle inflation and the principles of savings remember he spoke about the 50 30 20 method go and practice it come back next week and come and share your testimony and in fact this is even like the salary week for a lot of people so you can as well infuse this um this saving pattern now mr peter nosiki has given to you into your money and watch it blossom and on that note we'll say a very big thank you for listening and um do stay tuned and keep listening to vop 90.3 fm (laughs) 